And we're back. District Court number one. I still don't understand what country this is. This court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Mayfay. I am bald man. Edgeworth, prosecution is ready. The defense is ready. Miles Edgeworth. I'd better not show any signs of weakness today or he'll be on me in an instant. Mr. Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, your honor. Um, my neck garment is horribly out of style. And that color is neither garnet um, nor maroon. It's really closer to purple because I'm a huge fag. Thank you, your audience. Um, yes, I'll be back. Also, the prosecution has evidence that she has committed this murder. Or that the murder might have been caused by this extremely ugly suit for which I should totally be held in contempt of court. Also, my bangs look like they just took way too much time to style this morning. <sighs> and make me look like an angsty teenager, fuck. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. God, this is just... This is just becoming less, like, PG-rated and... Like, this is going, like, fucking R-rated movies pretty soon. This is just getting worse the more I record it. <laughs> I had someone file a complaint to me that their parents would let them watch my Let's Plays, and I was like, oh, fuck. Maybe I shouldn't curse so goddamn much. And then I was like, eh, fuck it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, the detective Gumshoe Hubbusho. Hey, what's up? I'm still confused. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name is Dick Gumshoe. Sir, I am the detective in charge of homicides at the precinct. Sir, Detective Gumshoe. Sir, please describe for us all the details of this murder. Sir, very well, sir. Let me use this floor map in the office to explain, sir. The body was found by the window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to being struck by a blunt object, sir. The murder weapon was a statue of the sinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. Oh, well now look who's being sexist. The court accepts this statue as evidence, yes. Also, I am eating a salad. Mmm. Mmm, salad. Also chicken. We're still calling it a statue. Floor plans added to the court record. Now detective. Let me look at you with my little snarky expression. You, you, yes sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay who was found at the scene correct. Can you tell me why? Yes sir. I had heard evidence that she did it sir. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Witness testimony. Dude, I love this testimony music. It is so awesome. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. Yes. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maifei, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maifei. Why, we had a witness account describing her. A witness saw Miss Maifei at the very moment of the murder. Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? Mm, I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh, smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in the witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Like, for example, when I did it in that first case. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a try. Something of the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Cross-examination! Ho! Press. Who did you say you got the call from? Hey, pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gateway Hotel right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay. I pressed. Not sure it did much, though. Alright, please continue. There were two people there already. Press! 
Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. So, tell us, who the two people you found on the scene were? Yes, sir. The defendant, Mr. Maifei, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. Press. Hold that. <laughs> God, I love chicken. Pepper, just peppered chicken with a little bit of sauteed mushroom in a salad. <clears throat> Her funky, clippy clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like suspicious people at a crime scene. Well, hey man, my hair isn't spiky, it's slicked back. There's a difference. Press. Why is that? What's your reason? Why we had a witness account describing her. Press. Who was this witness? Hold on just one second. Yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what was hard evidence? <laughs> Miss May isn't suspicious. She sure isn't pink, pal. Well, I guess she is pink. That's enough. Detective Gumshoe, do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, hmm. I guess pressing does have its advantages. Yes. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There's something I should have told you first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Testimony. Again. Ooh, he revised it this time. Let's listen for differences. This is where we get him. Oh man, this is exciting. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own two eyes, instead of using someone else's like I usually do. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab tests showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the evidence on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Ah, order in the court. That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Why didn't you testify about the vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh, I'm really embarrassed. I forgot about your honor, sir. Very well. The defense. What? What? What kind of judge lets that through? That's bullshit. That was clearly that was all sorts of court pro problems. God damn it. Erich Heukna playing Battlefield. Press. When did you have time to examine this? I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I found a memo written on the piece of paper. Press. Ho ho ho. Who did write it then, Smarty Pants? Who? Um. The killer. Anyone can see that. Ho! Oh, you're saying the killer wrote her own name? Buddy, please. No, what I'm saying is that she was framed. Objection! Hold on. If that's the case, where's your evidence? Uh, irk. Ha. Huh. I guess that was a bit of a tall order for you. Without Those without evidence shouldn't open their mouth, Mr. Wright. Yeah, pal. Uh. Well, detective, tell us what was written on that memo you found. It's not a memo, it's one word. It's a it's a receipt, damn it. I'm gonna press that. It's not a memo, it's a receipt. So what about the lab tests? 
What kind of tests were these again? Uh, what kind